Is there a rationally intelligible way to hold together in tension, but without contradiction, God's greatness and God's goodness? Each one of these attributes of God needs careful definition to avoid extremes and to avoid confusion. Why did Jesus have to die in order for us to be saved, that is, to be reconciled to God? In addition to what Jesus Christ did on the cross, what does God do in us and what do we do in relation to God in order to accomplish salvation for ourselves? what comes after death. Much contemporary Christian belief has forgotten much of the Christian past and Christian belief that has been developed out of the Bible through interpretation throughout the centuries. I'm not particularly interested in arguments. I'm interested in seeing what true faithful Christians agree about. I'm Roger Olson, and I've taught theology for almost 40 years now in three different Christian universities. And it's been my pleasure and, and my great experience to teach thousands of Christian students about their own Christian heritage of belief. And back toward beliefs really rooted in revelation, what God has given us to believe about himself in scripture.